So in this video, we are going to learn how to add Facebook lead ad leads to Zoom as registrant. Let's say you are running some ads on Facebook to generate some new leads for your webinar or so your online meeting or consultation which you are conducting via Zoom. Now you want that whenever a new lead is generated in Facebook lead ad, you want to add that same lead, that same person with the same details as registrant for your Zoom meeting or webinar. So let me tell you, you can completely automate this process. So in this automation, as a new lead will be generated in our Facebook lead ads account, as we are going to get a new lead via our Facebook ads, automatically with the same details, we are going to add that lead as a registrant in our Zoom meeting. Now, if you want to learn how you can set up this complete automation all by yourself, for that, you just have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, this is my Facebook page. And on my Facebook page, I am running some Facebook lead ads to generate some new leads. Now I want that whenever a new lead is generated, whenever I will get a new lead using the Facebook lead ads, I want to add the same person, same lead as a registrant for my Zoom meeting or Zoom webinar. Now to do this, we have to connect our Facebook lead ad account with Zoom. And we are going to use an automation and integration platform called Pavli Connect to do so. Now to get started with Public Connect, you will get a free sign up link in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can set up your free Public Connect account in just two minutes. And after creating the account and coming to this dashboard, we have to create an automation workflow over here. For that, just click on this create workflow button and give this workflow a name. Let's say I'll name it as Facebook lead ads to Zoom. You can basically give any other name of your choice. Then just select the folder of the Public Connect account in which you want to set up this automation and click on create. And as you click on create here you can see the automation workflow will open in front of us. In this workflow you can see we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on. Where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's start with our trigger window. Now the idea here is, first we have to connect our Facebook lead ads account with Public Connect in the trigger step. So using Facebook ads, whatever the new leads which we are generating, which we are getting, all the details of those new leads will be received inside Public Connect and this automation workflow will trigger. It will start. Now to that, using this Public Connect automation, we are going to send the details of the same lead to Zoom and we are going to add that same lead as a registrant for our Zoom meeting or our Zoom webinar. So let's see how it is done. Starting from our trigger window in Choose app, search for Facebook lead ads and select it. After selecting Facebook lead ads in trigger event from this dropdown, select the trigger event as new lead instant. And we are going to use the latest one, the beta one. Then just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here we have to connect our Facebook lead ads account or Facebook account with Public Connect. And to make this connection, click on this connect with Facebook lead ads button. Now because we have logged into a Facebook account in our browser, Public Connect will detect the same account and ask us to continue with it. So we'll just click on this continue button and as we click on continue, we will see our Facebook account will get connected with Public Connect over here in the trigger window. After connecting our Facebook account, the first thing it asks us is the page name. So in this drop down, you can see a list of all the Facebook pages which we have created in our Facebook account. Out of all of these pages, on which particular page we are running the ads or using which particular page we are generating some new leads. We have to select that. So let's say the name of the page which we are using in this video is Investwise. So what I'm going to do, I'll just search for the same page over here. Investwise and select it. So on this Facebook page, I am running the ad to generate some new leads. After selecting our Facebook page, it is most likely possible that on a same Facebook page, you might have created multiple lead gen form. So in this drop down, you can see a list of all the lead gen forms which we have created for this particular Facebook page. And using which particular form we want to capture the leads inside Public Connect, we have to select it. If you want, you can select a single form or you can just select all lead gen forms over here and using all the lead gen form, whatever leads you are going to generate using this Facebook page, the details of all the leads will be received inside Public Connect. So I want to capture the new leads from all the lead gen form. So I have selected all lead gen forms over here. After selecting your Facebook page and lead gen form, 
click on this save and send test request button and as you click on save and send test request you can see it has now changed to waiting for webhook response this means Pavli Connect is waiting to capture some response of a new lead over here from our Facebook page. So let's do it. What we are going to do, we are going to go to developer.facebook.com and here we get a tool that is called as lead ad testing tool. Using this lead ad testing tool, we can basically generate some test leads, some dummy leads for our Facebook page or our Facebook lead gen forms over here. So if you want a dedicated video on how you can access this lead ad testing tool and use it to generate some test lead, we have a dedicated video already live on the channel. You can refer to that video and learn how you can access the Facebook's or Meta's lead ad testing tool. After coming to this testing tool from this drop down, we have to select our Facebook page. So we will be selecting a Facebook page for which we are setting up this automation. So name was InvestWise. And we have selected all lead gen forms over here. So I'll just select any lead gen form from the drop down. So lead ads form. This is the form which we are generating. Using this form, we will be generating a test lead. Now let's click on this preview form button. Now after clicking on preview form, here you can see the lead gen form will open in front of us in preview mode. And now we are going to enter the details of a test lead, a dummy lead over here. Let's say the name of the person is demo test. The email address is this. This is a dummy mobile number which we are entering and then the company name is for example Google. Let's take a dummy example over here. So just now what we have done using this lead ad testing tool, we have opened our lead gen form and entered the details of a test lead, a dummy lead. Now let's click on continue and click on submit. And as we click on submit here, you can see that using the lead gen form, we have generated a test lead over here. After generating this test lead, we'll get back to a public connect workflow. And here you can see in the trigger step of a workflow, we have received a response. And in this response, you can see the details of the exact same test lead. We have the same first name, same last name, same email, same mobile number, and same company name as well. This means the step one of setting up this automation is completed and we have successfully connected our Facebook page or our Facebook lead gen form with Pavli Connect in the trigger step. And using this connection, Whenever we are going to generate or get a new lead from our Facebook lead ads, automatically the details of the same lead will be received inside Pavli Connect workflow and this automation workflow will trigger. It will start. Then after that, using this Pavli Connect automation, in the next step, we want to send the same details of a new lead to Zoom so that we can add this person as a registrant for our Zoom meeting or Zoom webinar. For that, we will just scroll down, come to this action step and here in choose app, we'll search for Zoom and select it. After selecting Zoom, an action event from the drop down, select the action event as add meeting registrant. Then just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here we have to connect our Zoom account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, click on this connect with Zoom button. Now here in this pop-up window, because we have logged into a Zoom account, it will automatically detect the account and make the connection over here. After making the connection, it is asking us for the meeting. That for which particular meeting, we want to basically add this registrant for. So in my Zoom account, you can see right now, I have two different meetings. First one is client meeting and second one is manage personal finance and investment. Let's say I have this meeting of personal finance and investment management on 20th of November. And for this particular meeting, I want to add this new registrant, which we are getting from Facebook lead ads. So in this drop down inside Public Connect, you will get a list of all the active meetings which you have. And from this drop down, you have to select the meeting in which you want to add this registrant. After selecting the meeting, it is asking us for the email address. Then after that, after email address, it is asking us for the first name, last name and some other details. So we have received all of these details of a new lead from Facebook lead ad in our trigger step. So here from the trigger step responses, one by one, we have to send these details of a new lead to this Zoom action step. And to add the responses, the details from our trigger step to our action step, we are going to use a process called mapping. And the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field of email address and here in this drop down, you can see a list of all the responses of a new lead which we have received from Facebook lead ads. Out of all of these responses, select the response of email and it will be mapped. Then click on the field of first name from the drop down, select and map the response of first name and last name as well. In this way, whatever details of a new lead, the lead is going to enter in our lead gen form 
with the same details we are going to add them as a raised trend in our zoom meeting or zoom webinar after entering these details it is asking us for the address and we don't have the details of the address of the user and these fields are not mandatory are not required so if you want you can just ignore these fields for now then in phone number we have received the phone number the mobile number of the lead so we are going to select it and map it and here in organization we are going to map the response of the company of the organization as well now after this it is asking us some other details as well like purchase time frame role in purchase so if you want you can just ignore this field by turning the mapping button on and clearing the default response so for these three fields i'm just going to make the default response clear the default response over here and i'll just going to keep it blank and after mapping all the required details of the details of a new lead which we have received over here into the respective fields just click on save and send test request after clicking on save and send test request here you can see we have received the response and this response seems to be a positive response to us this response shows that using this lead ad testing tool using facebook lead ads the new lead which we have generated the same lead is now added as a raised trend for our zoom meeting over here so let's check it we'll go to a zoom account we'll open this meeting and we'll check the registrant list over here so let's go to registration section and yes here you can see that we have one registrant for this meeting click on this view button and you can see the same name demo test with the same email address so we have the same person demo test as a registrant the same lead which we have received from facebook lead ads we have the same email address and also some other details too this means the automation workflow which we have created using public connect this automation between facebook lead ads and zoom is working perfectly fine and using this automation whenever we are going to receive a new lead in our facebook lead ads automatically with the same details we are going to add that lead as a registrant in our zoom meeting over here now after setting up this automation let's test this automation workflow once for that we'll just go to our lead ad testing tool and we are going to generate another test lead another dummy lead over here now to generate the second lead to generate another test lead first we have to delete the previous test lead which we have created because as it is mentioned over here that using this lead ad testing tool we can only generate one test lead at a time so first what we have to do we have to click on this delete lead button after clicking on delete lead button just refresh this lead ad testing tool page once and then once again now we are going to generate another test lead so from this drop down we are going to select our facebook page over here so let's search for the facebook page and here it is after selecting the facebook page select the lead gen form and click on preview form button now let's enter the details of another test lead let's say the name of this lead is test dummy this is the email address pavlitudes.com and this is another dummy mobile number which we are entering company is for example microsoft and after entering the details of these dummy lead this test lead over here let's click on continue and as we click on continue here you can see let's click on submit and another test lead another dummy lead is generated using this facebook lead ad testing tool and ads will receive a new lead on our facebook lead gen form automatically with the same details that lead will be added as a registrant in our zoom meeting so we'll just refresh this registration page in zoom once and yes here you can see that on the registration page the registrants are two and if you click on this view button you can see test dummy the same person with the same lead whose details we have just now entered in our lead gen form on facebook lead ads with the same lead details that that lead is now added as a registrant in our zoom meeting so we have the same name over here same last name same first name and the same email address This means the automation workflow which we have created between Zoom and Facebook lead ads this automation is working perfectly fine. So not just these applications you can connect plenty of other applications with Pavli Connect. And one more important thing you will find the clone link of this exact same automation workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link you can just clone the same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and start using this automation for free. Also let me tell you Pavli Connect offers you a free plan. and in this plan you will get some free task every month into your own public connect account so if this video was helpful to you don't forget to hit the like button share it with others or if you have any kind of doubts or queries you can always write us in the comment box below or email us at support@redpavli.com also you can post your queries on our forum as well and if you want to check the pricing of public connect you can visit this link so this is it for today's video thank you have a great day